I am a computer science student. Uh, on a daily basis, I have more than 10 hours of sitting on my computer, not necessarily just for programming. I make YouTube videos, I watch YouTube videos, I do Netflix, I learn things on, uh, on internet. So one way or the other the point is I sit for more than 10 hours on my computer. Now usually that is something which is not healthy. You shouldn't be sitting in one place looking at something uh, which has rays coming to your eyes. It's definitely not healthy. But that's the thing. If I do not do it, I wouldn't be able to qualify as a computer scientist. This is my job. This is something I have to do no matter what. So at the end, I will have to find a way where I can balance two things at once. One, being in a computer for 10 hours and two, not harming my body and definitely my mind as well. But these three things aren't as easy to accomplish as it might sound on pen and paper. But that's the thing, I have to find a solution. If not a 100% solution, then 80%. But I have to find something where I balance these three things and live a happy life, I guess. Now, two of those things are fairly easy, uh, which is working for a long period of time and uh, exercising on time to make myself physically fit. But the third thing, which is having a perfect mindset, you know, working for so long and being physically active on certain times have a very hard impact on your mind sometimes. And that is something which has to be refined every now and then. And I, from my own experience, have learned this, that if somehow I can control uh, my, my workstations or in short, somewhere where I am uh, for a long period of time in a day, then that helps me to clear my mind because anyone's mind is very effective by what they are seeing and so is mine. So back to the images, if you choose the second image, then that is something which appeals to your mind with something you find very comforting and that overall impacts your mindset in a very positive way. It might not look like it at first, but trust me, it does. But then there comes a question that why should one go for the minimal desk setup? I mean, there are ways where one can organize their desk in a manner where they have a lot of things out there, but it still looks appealing. To me, the simplest answer is it's spacious. There are times where I have to put things here, where I have to say work on my iPad, my phone, my coffee, my plant and my microphone. If I'm able to organize all this on my desk, I feel much more comfortable. It eases my mind and that's the only reason why I personally chose the minimal desk setup. But that's not the only reason. There are a lot of people who choose it because it is very easy to maintain. If you have 30 items right here in your desk right now and maybe you know how to make it look appealing, but the point is when it comes to maintaining a minimal desk setup versus something which is a, a maximum desk setup, it is very easy to maintain it, to organize it, to clean it and to make it look much more appealing that way. I am not someone who's very into cleaning all the time. So when the time comes every two, three days when I feel like cleaning my desk, it is very easy for me to clean all of this in less than 15 minutes and be done with it. 